What's up everyone, it's your boy Nolan Rad 89 here, bringing you another review today to talk about a film I just caught on Netflix. It is a new supernatural horror film that came out this year, a found footage film. It's called Incantation. This is a Taiwanese found footage film. And today we're gonna to talk about my positives, my negatives, and the rating, and then I'm gonna send you all home. I've been hearing a lot of buzz around online and like from different people that this is a pretty awesome film. So today you're gonna to get my take on it. Let's do this. Roll it. Incantation, like I said, is a found footage supernatural horror film. It's in Taiwanese, so you have to read it. It's in subtitles and stuff. And we follow a the main story. We follow Lee Ronan. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Uh, plays a mother. She's the mother character. And she has something going on with her daughter. There's a curse. There's something haunting her. And, like, she wants to figure it out, basically. And it has to tie into something that happened in her past. So this film does have two different timelines going on in the same time. So we're learning about stuff that happened six years ago that has to do with why this is going on. And then we have Lee Ronan, like our current storyline, her dealing with her daughter and the issues of the curse and how it's affecting her, like her family and stuff. So let's get into the positives right away. In terms of my main favorite positive is this definitely has a really cool just feel to it an atmosphere a vibe about it it does like you just feel it as it's going on the sound effects and the music design all of that it's very you know just old school and feels very with the film and like it assists in building that atmosphere around the film so the creepy moments the tense moments they all feel more creepy they all feel more tense because of the music and the sound design and the fact that it's found footage you're seeing different camera angles and stuff it does somewhat seem a little convenient that there are cameras kind of always where we need them to be I'll get more into that when we get into mixed and negatives but it does like I said the different angles sometimes from the cameras the nighttime angles those green ones you know kind of nighttime views the lighting in certain spots like it really like I said assists in building that dark deep tense atmosphere that you want in this kind of film another thing I really dug about this movie is the performances like it, it's really top-notch like even the daughter character she has some scenes where she does kind of like Reagan-esque exorcist type stuff and like she really delivers on those scenes they're creepy they hit hard and there's not a lot of jump scares in this film at all it's much more like I said an ambiance vibe to it and just the fact that it's terrifying that me being a parent I know what it's like I have three kids so being a parent and seeing stuff happen to your child like that and you trying to figure out trying to find answers like that that's a very terrifying thing so that's you know kind of it has that exorcist thing where it pulls that from there you know and this film you can really feel how Lee Ronan that actress she portrays it very well on screen and then we have also the six years back in the day timeline where you see her with two other friends and that's very much them as like kind of Ghostbuster type characters and them digging into like rituals and stuff like that and that's kind of how it affects the later timeline. So like I said, we'll get more into that when we get into the other mix and negatives too as well. The graphics too and the moments, the scary moments and there's enough stuff happening in this film because I know this might be a hot take. I'm not a huge fan of like too many found footage films. I don't even like Blair Witch Projects. I don't really like Paranormal Activity either, but this film has enough going on and maybe the fact that it's built around the Taiwan, like Taiwanese like rituals and lores and deities and stuff like that, that it really has this kind of like that cursed nature. It just feels stronger to me. Like there's enough going on and it feels more authentic. And that's why I really dug this film in terms of that way. Like I said, the authenticity, the language, the acting, the creepy moments and the ambiance, all of those things really did land for me. But there, like I said, wasn't a perfect, perfect movie. I had a couple mixed negatives, so we're gonna get into those now. Like I said, the mixed and negatives, and one being that it does feel like there's a this is a little too long. That's my main problem with this movie. It approaches almost two hours. It's an hour and 52 minutes, I believe. And I feel like it's about 20 minutes too long. Like, that's my thing. Like, I I can feel it. Towards the end, the third act, I understood we were going. There's not too many crazy twists or anything like that. But I kind of understood we were where we were going in the last 15 minutes. And it just kind of felt like a slog to get there. It felt like the, the film was meandering a little bit in that ending spot. So, yeah, for me, this film was about 
20 minutes too long. That's what I would say is my main negative. And the fact that we have the two different storylines going on, it does it's creepy. And like I said, the uh, previous storyline that takes place six years ago with the mother has a reason and ties into the now storyline and stuff like that. But I think it does stretch it a little bit where it's, you know, we kind of lose ourselves a bit, you know, we could have got maybe not as much more in the now time or more than like, you know, either one, but it, it stretched it a little bit. But yeah, this film still, I think is very much worth a watch. If you're down for horror and you're into like Blair Witch style project films or The Exorcist, those kind of possession type films, if you're into that stuff, I highly recommend checking this out. It's currently on Netflix. That's where you could stream this film, Incantation. And in my book, this film's gonna get a very solid 8.5 out of 10. Like I said, it's a very solid watch. I totally recommend checking this one out. Like I said, it's just, for me, it meandered a little bit. 20 minutes too long, but it wasn't, it's not a horrible negative and like straying of the two timelines a little bit, you know, kind of would have wanted a bit more focus, but I think uh, Kevin, Kevin Coe, I believe that's how you say our director's name, I think he did a pretty much a fabulous job in portraying this horror on screen because this is one of those films that I would return to over Blair Witch Project. And I know that might be like a hot take, but I'm not the hugest fan of like Paranormal Activity, Blair Witch Project. It found footage in general isn't my favorite subgenre of horror, but I think this one was pretty badass and I had an awesome time, good creepy vibes and good cast overall. So, and don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned to the channel so you get more videos like this. And of course, if you've seen this film, let me know in the comments section. I would love to hear from all of you and have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.